Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, and that was a pointless intro. This is Sly Cooper, and we're going to the Yard of Graves of Goats with Buns. Goats with Buns! I didn't even plan that, I'm just dumb. Ooh, that was shrill. Does he ever shut up? <laughs> At least this time I actually heard him making the announcement so I didn't have to worry about talking over him and... Wow, ruined. Like, rude, but R-O-O-N-D. Maximum roundage. Because I am wounded. Hey, we've been downgraded from a gold lucky charm to a silver. But, okay, this is actually the same recording session as the previous episode, but it's good to know that between the previous recording session and this one, it kept my lucky charm at silver, so I'm guessing it'll probably keep it at gold if I if, if I save and quit whilst in gold mode. Gold mode, clearly that's what that is, but... Goats with buns, though. <laughs> goats with buns. I don't even have an excuse for that. Now, where am I going? Because there's stuff in basically every cardinal direction. North, west, south, and yum. You know, the four cardinal directions. There's a point. If they have cardinals in the various churches, why aren't they named after directions? See, that's underneath the spotlight, which says to me I need to destroy some fire hydrants in order to even have a simple shoopy shump at getting those bottles. I'm... I, I would say I'm high. I'm, I'm really not. I'm just... I'm playing a game involving stealth and stress and seas, and I don't want to be see... seen... seas... Y y you get me. You, of all people, should get me, and obtain me, and keep me for life. I'm like a cutout and keep T.Y. Beanie, because obviously that's how cereal boxes work. Speaking of cereal, this morning I had imported American breakfast cereal, because I mentioned that two episodes ago. My, my parents obtained s'mores cereal. And if you know me, you know I get overly emotional about the stuff on the back of cereal boxes where it's like, oh, it's a word search or a maze or whatever. And the, 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 the mascot of, um, of this particular brand of cereal was uh, like a, a forest ranger called Buddy, and it's like, can you help Buddy get, like he's, he's gone to collect firewood and he's now lost in the forest. And I'm like, yes, yes I can. And while I was pouring my cereal, I took out a pen and I solved that maze because I, I couldn't just leave him out there. Boo. Don't whistle at me. I'm assuming that I wanted to descend at some point. I just wanted to assassinate. I wanted to be an overzealous word filter that but buttonates. What is that up there? There's something that's a curious color. Don't even whistle at me, bro. Now, I appreciate that this level has only 20 bottles in it. Because, I mean, we're not actually finished with the first area of this chapter yet, and yet I've gone straight into the second half because, I don't know, I'm easily distracted. Oh, that they're just... Nope, that they are breakable, in fact. They're lights that are broken able... Good, good job, Tess. You're really good at making face noises. Now... One other thing, because I know relative nothing about this game, I don't know which levels to prioritize in order to get the uh, various unlockable move skills that I want slash need in order to progress more easily. Because I strike me as a sort of person, ow, who would go out of their way to, uh, like, do some hard levels to get a real, like, a, like, say for example there was a, there was an upgrade. I, I have no health right now, by the way, which is good. I seem like the sort of person who would go out of their way to do a difficult level early if it meant getting an ability that made Sly, like, invisible and invincible for the rest of the game. So I, I take no objections whatsoever with just cheaping it, because... Chickens. You know, chickens? Have you ever met a chicken in real life? Have you ever even seen a chicken in real life? Because, like, bruh. Okay, I know where the last bottle is, I just don't entirely know how to get to it. But then again, I didn't really look all that hard. <laughs> So it's back this way. It's on that somehow, I think. I remember, or maybe this is the other side of where I was looking before. I know somewhere there is a bottle. You don't say. Ha. Well, I'll, I'll see if it's towards the end of the level because apparently I got my locations mixed up. But 
I'd imagine that because they're putting the end of level vault right there, that I should have all the bottles by now. I'm talking about like I'm about to cut. I am about to cut, but I don't know how about. How about this? Which reminds me of, uh... I could swear I was missing one. This one was cake. Input 719. That's a healthy number. Because I, 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 I could do it with minimal turns of the rotation of the lock. Of the lock. Of the lock of the lock. The lock's lock. Lock the lock to lock your locks. Ugh. Outstanding. Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus. This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. Oh, that seems a bit broken for this point in the game. Now, can I only equip one thing at a time? Like, can I still have my broken jump forward and slice people in the face move? No. Okay. Ooh, that is delicious. Like, that's end gamer hat in time stuff right there. That's, that is sexy. That was unnecessarily dramatic, and I love it. That was a, a nice, friendly, short level that I wasn't expecting to be short. We got through the Bun Goat Yave Grad. But that's the thing. If you happen to go past a graveyard, but you knock a letter off the sign, then suddenly a load of skeletons start coming to life and glow sticks. Graveyard. That's, that's the punchline here. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that because it does seem to be in very poor taste because dead people, but... Rave that it does go above 10 or it goes above 9 to reach 10. Oh, nothing happens if I hold down the circle button usually. Now, I, I'm wary of those enemies with the shurikens because like they, they, they seem like a dangerous time. So I'm at the very least going to go back and s I want to do the level that's at the end of that passageway though because it looks short and I feel like I could fit it into this episode quite nicely. But before I do, before I do, I want to obtain a lucky charm because I don't trust myself to just exist healthily, you know. That's why I have s'mores breakfast cereal. It was a one-off, okay. Being really generous with the lives, though. Oh, you tease me, game. You tease me with your 98. Can I smash this? I cannot. Well, luckily for, luckily for me, I know where there is... Uh, I'll, I'll just meet you back in that passageway, because I'm going to go down here, grab the Lucky Charm. If it is indeed still there, I'll see you shortly either way. <laughs> I've... Okay, I'm cutting back in a bit previously. Yes, the uh, Lucky Charm was there, but just... I remember seeing a video at some point of just some raccoon just somersaulting through someone's living room. Like, it wasn't even their raccoon. That's just, it just, it tickles me. Anyway, I, 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 mmm, mmm, I, yes. I'm, I me gusta some of these abilities. And we're back up to a golden boy. Come here to enjoy. The king of fun. Let me show you how we thief it. You die. I could grab that life now. I don't know if it will respawn. Eh, let's go into the depths. Ooh, it's a submersible. That's no like, if you're in an enemy's hideout, you wouldn't just get into their submersible, surely. Shall I say submersible a few more times? Submersible. Oh. You found it, Sly. This is where Raleigh's gang of crabs stashes his sunken treasure. Use your sub to blast him. The left analog stick controls the sub. Give it a try. I already figured right. that out, Bentley. But thanks. Use the right analog stick to fire its gun. Uh huh. That's it. Remember, you can always drive the sub in one direction while firing in another. To earn a treasure key, you'll need to collect all 40 chests. Do not let a crab take one into a tomb. Oh, I don't like this. Well, surely if you just... Surely if you just constantly rotate, you'll be fine. I don't know if I should... Do I need to destroy these? Oh, it's actually... Oh! Hold in a direction to fire in that direction. I thought it was just... It, it, it'll it only... I thought it was it'll only fire if you're spinning. Oh. I'm dumb. It wouldn't be the first time I've failed at a new game mechanic. I mean, did you see my Let's Play of Undertale? I didn't even realize that you could move whilst blue, and that's kind of spoilers, but everything's a spoiler for that game, so... Shut your fuff and keep it closed. Save it till marriage. That's just my thing at the moment. Saving everything till... Like, like, you, you, you buy a, an extra large box of Jaffa Cakes from the supermarket, save it till marriage. You know, you're, you're walking down the street and you see a, a like just a lucky coin on the floor. Save it till marriage. You know, you, you, you're trying to have a fantastic party with two friends and a piece of pizza. Save it till marriage. Did I, did I miss a chest or did I destroy it whilst like rescuing it? Because I'm... I don't like this sort of mission. You there can stop. Am I invincible? I can't tell. 
can your chests please explode a bit faster? I, 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 do I need to be moving as well? I've, I've already forgotten the controls, and I've been playing this game the entire time. Have I failed yet? That just says a lot about my psychology, doesn't it? Just, just have I failed yet? I swear some of these have too much H. McPingtons, but maybe I'm just controlling incorrectly. No, 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 no. Okay, that's not a good place for that to exist. Have I, I feel like I missed one in the top right corner because I was too busy focusing elsewhere, but... This reminds me of Banjo-Kazooie, and also the Game Boy Advance Spyro games. It's just... No, 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 no. Why so many question marks? I saw too late that I was in a trapped location. I guess I'll just speed through this. And there's the last two. Never was a fan of twin stick shooters, to be brutally honest. That was unnecessarily brutal and unforgiving, in all fairness. Like, why Why would I need to get every single one and, like, worry about missing it? Like, like really? That seemed unnecessarily harsh. But whatever. We did it. I've got the gold. Well, I mean, the gold. The, the, the lucky champ had nothing to do with that. I just wanted to reassure myself that I could take two hit points of damage without dying. So there's that key... Okay, so we got the key from up there, and the key from there. Like, were there really only two up here, or did I miss something really obvious? Well, okay. So we had three going in here. There's the tower in the middle of this first area. Camera. Thank you. Okay, so there's three, plus the two we've not got out here. That's five, and then the two we just got. Okay, that's seven. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Mm, yeah, sure. Okay! Whoa! I can play games! I am a PlayStation boob. He ever used a PlayStation boob? It's like a PlayStation, but you wear it like it's a bra. It's a sports bra. It will support you in your time of need. Let's go into the fire down below. That sounds like a healthy time for all involved. There's mechanisms and a hook. Lucky for us that we can hook onto things with our hook. Temperature's reading way off the charts in here. This must be the power source for the storm machine. Readings off the charts. Then get a bigger chart. You know you're at f oh wow the thing is right at the beginning that that really fucks. Okay, so if temperature readings are off the charts, then learn from Sonic Boom the TV series of all things and get a bigger chart. Seriously, that was a joke in one episode and it made me actually giggle and I feel like a terrible person for it. But to be fair, tails, that is all. Though that said, I I once had a conversation with Heather on Stevia or Stevia, either works, and um, she proposed the. Oh, I, I was trying to use the uh, dive attack and it wasn't working because I forgot to dequip the slow motion goob. But yes, she proposed some sort of thing where... I don't know, it was like, it wasn't even a full-blown ship, it was just... Tails and Sly. For one of them, it's their first time. The other is only doing it as a matter of business to try and steal some machinery parts. Even though... Clearly, he truly feels something, but he is not allowed to act on it because it would get in the way of business. And so he feels bad about loving and leaving him, literally, but then it breaks the poor boy's heart. I, I, I don't know, I, 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 I'm literally talking about non-existent fanfiction here. Though, to be fair, I, I, would, I would read that it was written by someone competent enough. Can I exist over here? Oh, I can. It's, it was just a slag heap. That's the thing with Cole. Just, just slag, that's it. No, but if you do a thing with coal, then it's referred to as slag, and... Oh, this isn't healthy. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's how they got the word slag into a Pokemon game. Because in Generation 4, there's Orberg City, and there's a slag heap, and the guy's like, Hey, this is a slag heap! And you're like, whoa, you can't say slag in a Pokemon game. Oh, but they did. Can I get back up somehow? Because I want to, I want to rise. I want to rice like a fire chicken. Can I climb up the pipage? 
the peepage, if you want to sound like you're pretending to be foreign. By the way, because this is the same recording session as the last episode, and the last episode was recorded on the day it was meant to go up, you should be able to deduce that today is the 7th of February, and it's the day of the UK's national final for Eurovision. And I hope, I hope that I can think about this in hindsight and be happy with the result. Oh, I, I'm dumb. I can just... Wow, Sly, why would you willingly climb down on this to try and get so close to the flame? I, I thought maybe I'd need to use a sort of fucky jumpery, apparently not. But yes, I hope I can be proud of the result. This gets a four. I really don't feel this one. It sounded, for all the world, according to the terms and conditions on the BBC website, it sounded like they were going to announce the full results of the uh, selection show. Like, they'll, they'll announce first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, rather than the past two years where they just cut straight to the winner, which... I mean, okay, that's not the most- Ooh, there's a bottle! Not the most exciting way you could do it. I will cut back to when I'm up there. Hey, I could go over the coin side this time. I can get all of the things. But yes, I want to feel like I can trust my own national broadcaster because it's one of the biggest and richest and oldest in the world, but whatever. That reminds me, one of my teachers at university yesterday was surprised to discover that, that the Bulgarian national broadcaster has its own website. Like, wow, do you- do, but you're- but sir, you are part Polish. Why would you of all people think in such imperial terms? Like, clearly only Britain can afford a website. But, um... Okay, completely unrelated, except kind of related because Eurovision, but... I so want... I don't know why, I don't know where this thought came from, but I would like to hear Sly's voice actor cover, um, the Czech entry at this year's Eurovision. I don't know why, I just feel like, like, the voice of Sly doing, um, lie to me. I don't know why, there's no thematic relation, I just feel like it would sound cool. Also, I vaguely remember, and I don't remember, but I just I just remembered this out of nowhere, and I don't remember whether it's an actual thing or if I'm just hallucinating memorially, but um, I seem to recall there being something involving possibly the uh, the official voice actors of Sly Cooper, and they, they were doing like, a, like an improv bit or something, and it was like Sly and the gang do a heist at KFC or something. I'm going to look that up after this video, because I remember thinking thoughts about that. I hope it's really real. And I remember it being funny, but if it is real, I, I might link to it in the video description, and if it's not real, well, there you go. If you know any sly impressionists, get them to cover lie to me, and then also steal KFC. <laughs> KFCs. Okay. I need to charge up a thing without being seen. How is this going to fuck? Can I fuck well? Well, I mean, it's Sly Cooper, of course he could fuck well. Huh? That's going in a direction. Hmm. Is there... Is there more to this eye than meets the puzzle? Oh! Oh, there's those bottles on a conveyor belt. I shall run the wheel and bring them to me. You can't detect me. Oh, and it also brought a bomb over. I, 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 was, I, I was staying quiet there just in case that wasn't really a bomb. Wait, are those bottles going to fall off into, into oblivion if I roll too far? Okay, I did wonder, because, like, they were on a conveyor belt, and I was going to continue running on that conveyor belt generator thing, but then I thought, hey, what if it drops the bottles into the lava if you run on it too much? Like, you must run on it exactly enough to bring the bomb to the to the grill. <laughs> the grill? What the hell is a grill? I thought maybe they'd do one of those trappy puzzles where you need to roll it just enough to, to open the way forwards, but if you overdo it, then you'll screw yourself out of beating the game. And then you step out of the way and you can cease existing, and we could finish the level, but I'm going to rush back nice and quick, like, to the, uh, to the vault. Okay, you can stay with me for the trip back. Ah, no, it's further than it looks. I'll meet you at the vault. This place so does not comply with UK health and safety regulations. I'm unbeatable! No code can stand before me! It's got to be five, seven, nine! Those are some numbers in a sequence. But... Okay, it does occur to me that perhaps I might be able to get the key, beat the level, leave, and then come back in, and the vault be right next to the entrance, but I don't know. Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. I am okay with this. So yeah, I could have beaten the level, left the level, and then come back in the entrance, and I think it would have saved that I had all the bottles, so I could just walk up straight to this, get the move, and then leave again, but... Ooh, that, that looks sexy. Well, no, it, it's useful. Anyway, 
I could have done that, and that probably would make more sense, but it's sort of the same logic that my brain compels me to, like in Spyro LPs, always go through the exit portal to signify I've completed the level, even though that's completely optional. Anyway, I will meet you at the key, and then we can end the episode off for good and healthy like times. You know, the other day, a very good friend of mine, Super Alex 641 proposed to me, and I wish that's where the sentence ended, but no, he proposed to me that the onomatopoeia for the noise that raccoons make is schnoof, and that tickles me, and it still tickles me to this day. For now, though, I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons, and in the next episode, we're going to do what the map refers to as a high-class heist, which is through that door. That's the name of the mission, not the type of mission. I don't know anything. For now, I have been and will continue to be, as I've already said, tessellating hexagons, and I'll see you in the next episode, as is tradition at this point. Good boo!